Hey, how you doing tonight? Who are you? <laughs> and what have you done with Jeremy? I'm Zool. Zool? Is Zool. that like Zeus? Yeah, didn't you say that we were talking about cool as Zool? Who's a Zool? You're the cool I'm, Zool. I'm as cool... What? <laughs> I thought you were the Fonz. Yeah, I'm cool. Fonzie. You said we were talking about cool as Zool. Well, I'm Zool. Ah, oh, okay. Funny. Who thinks Jeremy's funny? <laughs> we are talking about Cool Azul. Now, Cool Azul is a relatively new blend, and Young Living originally bought Cool Azul out first as a sports gel, because that's really what it is. And it's a bloody good sports gel, too. Yeah. So if you have been to the gym, or you've played some sport, or some exercise, or anything like that, um, you can rub it on afterwards and it smells very similar to a lot of other sports gels but best of all doesn't contain any nasty ingredients at all yeah. okay now Gary Young the founder of Young Living basically went um, you know all over the world sourcing the best possible ingredients and plants to make essential oils and so as a result in terms of Cool Azul um, he went into the jungle and found a lot of plants. Now, being um, a fitness Sorry. person himself, yep. he, you know, he wanted something to be able to rub on his muscles. Like he did all kinds of crazy things, like um, jousting and dog sledding and you know crazy sports. And so, you know, after a big event, he would definitely use the Coolazul. Now, the thing about the Coolazul blend is. A, so there's actually 10 mils of essential oils in that one tube. So 10% of the chunk. container is actually the Cool Azul oil. So if you if you prefer to have it already put in an aloe vera based gel and rubbed onto your body, then buy it like that. Yep. Otherwise you can buy the Cool Azul essential oil blend. I had some in my order this month, but it didn't arrive in time for today's yep. um, present, like today's talk. Uh, you can literally pop a roller fitment on the top of it and roll it on, just like you would pan away or deep relief. They work in exactly the same way. But the thing that sets this blend apart is actually the ingredients. So do you want to read out the ingredients and I'll tell people about them? Yeah, so I was looking at the ingredients and I thought if you could put the, a bunch of bizarre oils together, yeah, in one thing, that would be it. So some of them you'll recognize they're simple. So peppermint, for example, and wintergreen. So they're both in Panaway already, okay? Yeah. So peppermint and wintergreen. And they're going to give it a bit of a, a real cooling yes. thing. That's yeah. the cool bit. Okay. And wintergreen definitely gives it that, um, you know, that sort of deep heaty kind of sports yeah. jelly kind of smell. So. Yeah. Okay, balsam copaiba. So yeah, that's just copaiba. So yeah. some of you may know that copaiba is also in deep relief. Um, so a lot of those oils for your muscles. Yeah, copaiba I think is a really well kept secret. I actually use it quite often for muscle stuff. Um, okay, so then we've got sage, oregano, mm -hmm. niauli. Right, niauli. Okay, niauli. Oh, okay. Thank you. Right, niauli is actually an Australian. Um, it's in the Melaleuca family. Now, if you have heard us sing and perform as um, Ed Shutran and the Envision Vamps, then you would have heard us sing Melaleuca, Melaleuca Quinquinervia. <laughs> what the hell are you? How does the words go to the song? Nobody even knows Nobody exactly even, what you Yes, do. that's right. Nobody yeah. even knows exactly what you do. So this is Melaleuca Quinquinervia. Which now, is also... You in the past, you have been able to get it as a single oil, mostly from the US, but we at one stage did have it here in Australia. Um, but it's, yeah, Nauli is the common name, like, you know, how we call, um, you know, Melaleuca alternifolia, we call that tea, tea tree. tree. Melaleuca quinervia is known as Nauli. And um, yeah, once again, another beautiful Australian oil that has so many benefits. I love Nauli and um, particularly in winter, um, but also on your muscles. So there you go. Okay, a few that you will know, lavender, blue cypress, a uh, bit of vetiver. Now here's a few weirdo ones. Plectra, plectra. Oh, hang on. Oh, you Did want you to do go this back? one? Yeah. Oh, elamite, yeah. All right. 
And one that you can't get as a single oil that is in this blend is caraway. Caraway is also in Digize, which we're gonna cover Digize next week. Um, but caraway is a single oil that you can't, I mean, it's not an oil that you can get and it's actually in this blend. Yep. You, yeah? can get it, you can get it in buns. Um, Dorado Azul. Dorado Azul you can get as a single oil. Once again, another great oil if you like breathing and for the winter months. Yep. And that's the other half of cool Azul, isn't yes, it? Yes, that's because the thing is get on the in Ecuador at the Young Living um, farm over there, they grow a lot of the oils that are in this particular blend, uh, such mm. as Dorado Azul. So that's kind of where it gets its name yep. from, the cool azul. So basically it's blue Dorado. <laughs> yeah. That's what Azul, azul means. it means blue. blue, yeah. Okay, it's got blue cypress, did I already say that? Vetiver? Yep. Okay, now, uh, okay, let's go back to the Plectroth, Plectranthus oregano. Now, I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see the label, but it's actually handwritten, and it is Ecuadorian oregano. And that is and what we saw the, them growing it. Yeah, so we got this directly from the Young Living Farm in Ecuador, and it's Ecuadorian Oregano smells the same as oregano, that doesn't Italian look the same. oregano, but it doesn't, doesn't look, the, look same. the same. Bigger leaves, Big fatter, fat leaves. furry kind of looking yeah. leaves, um, but very, you can tell it's in the same family because it definitely has that. This one hasn't even been opened. Um, and, I th and I think we brought it back. We were, it was, they were still kind of experimenting. It's kind of kids they were still safe, experimenting it with, um, with it when we were there, weren't they? Yeah. I don't know. I can't even it's, get it open. It's child safe. It's got a child safe lid on it. I can't pop it open. But anyway, that I you can smell young. it. It's kind of got a lemony but oregano smell yeah, to it. It's so, not quite. A, it's got a sweeter smell than yeah. yeah it's, so it that, is different. To so oregano. that's in. Um, yeah. That is in Dorado Azul as well. Okay, and the other Sorry, one... Sorry, in Cool Azul. Yep, and the other one is Matricaria. <laughs> so Matricaria is the chamomile, so it's in the chamomile yep. family, also known as Mayweed, um, but yeah, that's in the chamomile. So, you know, if you get Dorado Azul, you're getting some oils that you can't get any other way. So, as I said, Melaleuca quinervia, Nauli. Quin quinervia. Quinquinervia. Quin Quinquinervia. <laughs> and you're getting that um, Ecuadorian oregano. So there you go. And it's Only way you can get those. Or, and caraway. It's just really good stuff. Yeah. Great for your muscles, as I yeah. said, after the gym. Um, yeah. Pretty much if you're a massage therapist, um, look at incorporating some of that at the end of your massage. It's really, really cooling. And people get off the table and they feel amazing. Awesome. Okay, right. so next week we're Diagize. back. Diagize. Oh, Diagize. And we? we actually have got um, a common sense uh, oil to give away from last week, but I can't remember who won. We'll have to post it in the, um, mm. we'll post it in the yep. comments and, um, and that'll be off in the mail to the lucky winner of the common sense oil from last week. I'm trying to remember who it was, but no, I can't. Remember. Okay, that's all right, we'll post it. Oh, wasn't it Bridget Marshall? Did it you was, already it post was Bridget it? Marshall. Yeah. And we've already posted it. <laughs> we, <sighs> is there never a good, work with children and animals. So Bridget good, Marshall, it's already on its way to you. Hopefully. Is there a good oil for remembering stuff? I don't know. We'll have to cover that in a few weeks. <laughs> All right, if guys. Thank okay. you. See, See you, you next week.